If you want to see how the water circulates through an outboard engine to keep it cool, keep watching. So the water is sucked up in through these screens. It goes in through the impeller on the water pump. Pumps up the tube. Okay, we're gonna re we're gonna remove this exhaust cover here. Okay, we'll take this outer exhaust cover off. There it is. Okay, we're gonna remove this inner exhaust plate, which looks like this. But while we got this apart, I'm gonna show you how the water flows through this engine. Okay, this is when you change your water pump and you hook everything back up and you hook that tube in and you get the tubes connected. This is the follow up of where that goes. The, right there is where the bottom of that tube comes in. Right there. And it comes up and fills this cavity here. So once that's full, let me set this exhaust part back in there so you can see where we're going. Once that's full, then the water comes out of here. So the water pump pumps it up, fills that cavity, it comes out here. So once it comes out here, it's hidden right here on this cover. It fills this cover up. It can even get around the bottom, so it actually fills this whole pocket up in here. Once it fills that pocket up, let me move my hand so you can see right there is where that hose hooks on for the tall tail that blows the water out on the ground that everybody's looking for so the water pump pumps up fills this when the cavity behind there fills comes through this hole fills this cavity all up once this cavity is full it blows out there and it lets you know that you're getting water this far this hose hooks right onto that plate right there which the water goes around and it blows out right here and that's that stream you see floating towards the ground. So to keep going with the water you've seen where that water has went so far. So once this cavity fills up with water it goes down right through there and goes into the engine. Another place once this cavity fills up you can see that there's a hole right there and it fills those water jackets that's around these cylinders on the inside you know you can see them when you got the head off of it it's those round circles and all and it fills those water jackets up and it flows around there and once it fills those cavities around each cylinder it comes right up to the back of the thermostat here and it sets there until the water gets operating temperature until it can go through here. Once the thermostat opens, it fills all these water jackets up on the inside of this head. And when this is in there, that water comes back out this port from the thermostat, follows this path right here, and goes right back in here. It goes back down this outer side of this jacket which once it comes out there comes into here goes back down through here and goes out through that port in the bottom and that port in the bottom takes it to it circulates it around through the bottom of the engine and then it goes out through a port and goes down and exits right from the center of the prop I wonder if that's salt Judging from that ring right there, and the way that piston looks, that looks like that's getting some blow-by on that uh, from them rings, which I'm sure it is when you have a compression loss that uh, is getting a little bit there. Let's look at the bottom cylinder. Here's the bottom cylinder. You can see that it's 
It's got more bovi on it than the top. Yeah, it's probably due. There'll be another video. I hope this helped anybody that's got problems with the water circulating through the engine. Talking about the getting steam and stuff to see where the different ports are at and what could be causing that. Um, if you enjoyed the content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If nothing else, give me a thumbs up for taking this exhaust cover off my engine there so you can see where the water goes. As always, if you want to help support our next project, uh, you can do viewer support on Patreon. Keep watching.